Hi, I'm the DC Dan, and uh, I'm at Level Up Arcade and Bar in Eugene, Oregon, and I'm here uh, to show you a few things on how a voltage meter works, a multimeter. This is uh, uh, something that is used a lot to diagnose pinball machine um, problems because there's a lot of things that um, uh, is on this, but there's only a few that you really need to figure out problems. So on a voltage meter, um, this uh, is one of the things that you use a lot to figure out problems on these is the ohms. Um, continuity, it's, a, it's in the ohms. Um, and uh, so when you have continuity through your wires, a lot of times there's a break in the wires and um, you don't have something working you might have a you might have a, a light down here or a switch down here that isn't working and you're trying to find it well it could be all the way up here because it's it's um it's all in a circuit a lot of this is um all in circuit um like um it'll have um your ground wire will be off somewhere and you don't know where it's off because it could be broken anywhere um, and it's really hard to figure out and a voltage meter helps a lot because you can you can test it and um, you have a noise like that and you know that you have continuity and that's really good to have so what I do is I take these right here which helps to put that there and then you can um, like if you want to know if you want to know where a switch runs so you can put you can put this on here like that and that doesn't have di that doesn't have continuity right there well that's because it's got a diode on it diodes are um, open they open up when when the switch is used so I have it hooked up to a coil right here um, and when you touch that so that that coil there's a fuse right here that runs through that coil that's that um, so if I was to take this coil or this um, fuse out of circuit so I don't have anything right there so you know that right there that wire goes to this and then it goes here so if there's a break a lot of times the fuse goes bad and that's a good way to test fuses too is, is um, being able to just check continuity on fuses like that um, so it also these coils all run together but they have separate fuses on the lines so this is going uh, to I'm showing how to test the uh, ohms on a coil when a coil is bad you have to test it out of circuit so when it's in circuit it's not going to test correctly um, and this is a brand new coil here this is a bigger coil than this other one sitting there so you want to have it on the auto ohm so you're ohming it out so that's ohms right there the horseshoe signs on there um, and when you put this on here just like ohming out a, like a speaker or something um, this usually so this this is testing 5.3 ohms which is about right for this coil and it helps to you can look them up on uh, you can look up to see what um, what these are supposed to ohm out at um, this is a smaller coil so the windings are going to be what matters on these which um, so this one is ohming out like three I think yeah so 2.8 3 ohm it's a lot smaller coil um, and uh, but these two coils here are good they're gonna they're gonna read a lot less sometimes you don't even get a reading on some coils and I don't have a bad one right now to to
to um, show you, but uh, that is basic stuff on, on a voltage meter, really all you need to know. And um, DC, the DC um, part of this is really good to know. AC is, eh, you know, you don't really, do, there's not too much AC in a pinball, um, except for when it's coming into the boards and stuff, there is um, AC, but most of that is also converted before it gets into the main board um, through a transformer. So uh, DC is, DC voltage is your main thing um, on a pinball. So um, yeah, and uh, continuity, like I showed you, um, the wiring in here, really helpful to have continuity. So continuity, and your ohms, which I don't really use a whole lot, but you do need it once in a while. Um, and, uh, and then the DC part. So uh, thank you for uh, tuning in today and uh, here at Level Up Arcade and Bar in Eugene, Oregon. And I am the DC Dan. And um, I encourage you to watch more because I'm getting... Uh, uh, better and better at doing this type of stuff. I like doing this and I want people to learn how I do things. So thank you again.